is a mess. I need to bleach it today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Yuri Gun with a Mint and welcome back to the Mint Coven. I'm being a little quiet because my husband is asleep in the living room and I don't want to be loud, but we did get a Wicked Wix box. So let's open it up and see what we got. I have a feeling that there is something special in here that um, I will love in particular. <laughs> I can already smell the candles. All I did was rip open the plastic and I can already smell them. I was like, wait, is that really what's happening? Yes. Oh, it smells so good. It smells very fresh. Like, just a mixture of fresh scents. I feel like it is rare when someone can have like multiple different candles in the same place at once and have it still smell good. I don't know if that's anyone else's, is anyone else's thing or just mine, but I feel like when I walk into Bath & Body Works, I don't want to walk into Bath & Body Works. Like, <laughs> it just smells so bad to me. Too many smells. Unless it's like a very particular seasonal kind of Bath & Body Works situation. Yeah, too many smells. But these all together smell really nice. Oh, look at it. Ooh. Okay, let's dive dump all of the packing popcorn onto Momiji who's sitting next to me. He was now covered in packing popcorn. <laughs> oh well, that's what you get. Uh, look how cute. Let's see what this one is. I love iridescent stickers. Oh, she's playing with them. She's like playing with them like a little shrimp. Ooh, the coven candle. Oh my gosh. I wanted this candle for so long and it is always sold out it is amber tobacco and fire <coughs> excuse me it is ambo ambo <laughs> amber tobacco and firewood and i those three scents are gonna be i love mm. oh my gosh it smells like a bonfire like a real bonfire. Like it smells like I'm outside at a bonfire and it's night and the moon is full and it's beautiful and I'm about to start dancing naked. Wow, and look at the glittering stars. So pretty, isn't it gorgeous? <clears throat> oh, it's lovely. And it does have stone, it does have stones in it. It looks like it has onyx on the top. So this is a great protection candle right up front, especially with that delicious Tobacco. Mm, what else did we get? Hecate. This is great. Oh, this one is blackberries, lavender, and night air. Oh, it smells exactly like lavender, blackberries, and night air. <laughs> what is that night air scent? It has some sort of, I'm walking outside in the forest smell. It's some kind of like a fresh, like after it rains and that smell of the forest after it rains. It's some, it somehow has that scent. Wow, this smells incredible. This is definitely going to be a ritual candle for me because I have not worked with Hecate personally. Like we don't have a relationship, but um, we, we are acquaintances, let's say that. And uh, I feel like I've been getting nudges for the past couple of weeks and I've been going through so much emotionally. So I feel like that's, that's a very timely candle. I have not had these candles yet either. So I'm excited for to work with those and they both smell incredible, like wonderful. That Hecate candle might have bumped itself up to my favorite scented candle from Wicked Wicks because it smells really nice, like incredibly nice. These are, I believe, wax melts. You can also get wax melts from Wicked Wicks. And this one is, <gasps> Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka? <laughs> I don't even know if I can use these now because I'm so excited about the packaging. Oh my God. Um, so, Amber, Bonfire Smoke, and Pine is the scent of this Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka wax melt. I'm very excited about this. I will indeed probably melt them, but I'm going to keep this packaging and put it in my Twilight bathroom because um, I am a huge Twilight fan, if you don't know already. 
This excites the crap out of me. Let's see what the other one is. I love everything that Pamela puts out at Wicked Wicks. Like, everything is so amazing. This one is called The Volturi Don't Give Second Chances, <laughs> which is perfect. I love that. <laughs> Red wine and dragon's blood incense. Oh, I want to smell it. That sounds wonderful. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Are you joking? Wow, that smells really good. Oh, I want to wash myself in that. That smells so good. I mean, I didn't even smell this one. I just realized. Oh, I love it. Again, it smells like a bonfire, like an actual bonfire. But then there's like a sweetness of pine. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, man, these are magical smelling. Oh, I love that. I got two more wax melts and a cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> oh, this is the skin of a killer. <laughs> These are so great. Edward's Library and Smoked Vanilla. That's, oh, these sound wonderful, these scents. And they are, they're all so good. Oh, wow. Oh, that smells incredible. Oh, I wonder if she would make me candles out of this. Oh, I'm gonna ask her too. Oh, this is another one that I just want to rub my, I want to wear this. It smells so nice. It smells just like, it smells like old books and vanilla, which are two of my absolute favorite scents. Like honestly, old books and vanilla and like um, black and milds and just like printed paper are my favorite scents. And like peppermint. Do you know that scene in which Harry Potter movie was it? The fourth one or the fifth one or the sixth one? I don't remember. Where they're making that love potion and it smells exactly the way it smells just like their favorite scents and Hermione's was like parchment paper and like tobacco smoke and toothpaste and those are exactly my favorite scents. Ugh, it smells so nice. Wow. Wow, Edward Cullen. If Edward Cullen smelled like that, as crazy as he was, I probably would have been his friend, at least his friend too, because that smells so good. Can you get out of my face, girl? Can you get out of my face? Can you get out of my face, girl? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Just standing here with her mouth open like a lummox. With your mouth open like a lummox. Smells like the Cullen House, it says. Smells like the Cullen House. White birch, pine forest, and fog. These scents are like so perfect like they are twilight i can already smell it smells a really nice oh it smells like like the cullen house at christmas oh it smells so nice i love the smell of birch it's one of my favorite scents again um, birch beer is one of my favorite things to drink it's it's delicious birch trees are one of my favorite trees this smells so good. It's like light and fresh. It also smells like a little bit like it's making my mouth water, like I want to eat it. Oh, it's so nice. Wow, these, this, these, please, Pamela, if you want Pamela to make candles out of these um, Twilight scents, then put it in the comment section below. These smell so incredible. Not exaggerating or joking no one's paying me to say that these smell so good i would wear these as body sprays i'm gonna literally ask her if she can make that happen somehow because these are so so nice what like my mind is blown by these so, these are all great i'll put links for whatever is available in the description box below of course these are both wonderful beautiful delicious smelling candles absolutely great I'm gonna use both of these in Ritual because they're perfect for using in Ritual. This one I'm going to use as a protection candle, probably like a group protection candle. It's perfect because it has tobacco in it and I use tobacco for protection a lot, as well as amber, which is a great harmonizer. So it's a great for protecting a family or protecting a group, so perfect for that. The Hecate candle I will be using in a um, sort of introduction um, between myself and Hecate because I feel like that needs to happen and this smells so nice I love it 
Lavender, of course, being a really nice calming element, but also it soothes the mind and calms the mind. If you're someone with a hard time getting into meditation, but you are still trying to connect, using lavender in a candle or an incense is great because it calms you enough where you're not having racing thoughts and it opens up your mind to communication. So it's going to be perfect for that. As well as just the symbolism on the jar is going to be perfect for that. So this is, I'm like thrilled. I'm thrilled with this entire situation here. Good, good, good. Yeah, so let's do a cute little sensual shot of all of these beautiful things together. Um, and yeah, like I said, links for these things will be in the description box. Please go check out Pamela on Instagram at WikiWix and look at all the beautiful things that she's creating. She posts these great little reels of teasers and stuff of things that are coming out. They're super aesthetically beautiful. So I hope that you guys find things for yourself. Like I know you will at WikiWix.com. And please join me tonight. I will be doing a full moon ritual on my Instagram account at Mint Fairy. Again, there's only one at Mint Fairy. There's no at Mint Fairy underscores, no Mint Fairy backup, only me at Mint Fairy. Join me there at 9 p.m. on Instagram. I'll be going live during a full moon ritual. You guys can ask questions. You can talk to me. We can just chill and chat. Whatever you'd like. I hope to see you all there. Mm -hmm.